Hey, 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 what's up you guys? Gediminas here, hope you're doing fantastically well. Welcome to Financial Freedom TV. And today I wanted to talk about production. So uh, if you're watching a replay of this, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. And if you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, then please do say new in the comments because I'd love to welcome you to the tribe and say hello. And of course, if you get some value from this or if you learn something, feel free to share it because maybe somebody else will get some value too. Hey, Hamad, thanks for jumping on. I uh, hope you're doing well. Okay, so the title of this video is Low or no production. Hey, Christina. Hey, Cornelia. Thanks for jumping on, guys. So I, I, I've learned this from my mentor, Ray Higdon, and he always says it's okay to have a week of low production, but it's not okay to have a week of no production. And I really adopted it, and, and, and I, that's something that I really like to go by. So you know, when you're building your home-based business, life happens, right? Some weeks you have things happening, you have family things, you have other things. If you're doing the business part-time, maybe your work is a bit busier or whatever, right? And you can't be always on the top of your game. You can't be always crushing it and you can't be always, you know, full on 100% in the business. It's understandable, right? Life is going to happen. You know, there's only a few people that can go 100% all the time, right? And it's okay to have a day of low production. So sometimes maybe, you know, you want to hang out with the kids all day, you want to do things, etc. And that's totally cool. That's the reason why you're building the home based business in the first place, to be making the money, to have the freedom, etc. So it's totally understandable. However, it's all about consistency and it's all about building habits. So if you want to build a habit at something, then you want to do it every single day. So that's why I always say it's okay to have a day of low production. Maybe you were busy. Maybe you were, you know, with the kids. Maybe you're doing something else. Maybe you're attending a training event or whatever it is. And you don't have that much time to go 100% productive all day, you know, on the phone, messaging people, etc. It's totally cool. But do something. Never have a day of no production. Have a day of low production. That's cool, right? But do something. You know what I mean? It doesn't take that much to get on your phone and send five messages to somebody. It doesn't take that much for me to pull out my phone and go live with you guys for 10 minutes. You know what I mean? And then I can do whatever I want to do for the rest of the day. Like today, we've got a training event here in Luton. Uh, we're going to get started in about half an hour. So I'm just uh, setting up the room and everything. And I thought, why not jump on and do a video? You know what I mean? So my advice for you is never have a day of no production. Always do something that moves you just a little bit closer towards your goal, that moves you just a little bit closer towards those dreams. And it may be a few messages. It may be a few posts on social media. It may be a couple of phone calls. It may be a Facebook Live or whatever it is. But do something every day so that at the end of the day, when your head hits the pillow, you know it wasn't a day of no production. It was a day of low production, but still you did something to move yourself towards your goal, to move yourself towards your dream. You know what I mean? So that's my advice for today, guys. I hope you got some value. If you did, feel free to share this video. And if you'd like to grab a free uh, ebook called How to Start a Part-Time Business Without Quitting Your Full-Time Job, drop me a private message and I'll send you the PDF. Have a great evening, guys. Love you loads. Bye for now. See you at the top.